Hello, you beautiful creatures. My name is Alexandra with This Is Improv, and I am here for another episode of Talk About It Tuesday, where we talk about all things the arts and the people who love them or are involved in them. Today, we have an extremely special guest, a beautiful guest, uh, one Miss Brooke. <laughs> Thank you. Talk about it Tuesday. Talk about it too. Talk about it Tuesday. I made that up just now, but I'm so excited to be here. I am Brooklyn. I live in Coconut Grove, Florida. That's south of Miami, for y'all that don't know. And um, I'm just a huge uh, theater person. I am a constant um, student of theater, and um, I'm happy to be here. Yay! Thank you for having me. Yeah, this is so exciting. And that, you just heard our new theme song. Um, and <laughs> what... What made you want to go into theater? What was that spark for you that was like, wow, this looks like something exciting for me to either try or do forever? I've always been someone, even since a child, that that loved to be in a play world. I just loved the idea of play. And um, that concept sort of evolved in elementary school where I um, had my first, it was uh, a vocal solo. Um, uh, through every season, I think was the song. And I think from there, I just loved the idea of performing uh, to an audience. And that was my spark of theater. I, I basically put my own um, my own way through college, um, through, through studying theater, um, which is a major accomplishment. So I was very dedicated um, to the art. So um, yeah, just this, actually the teachers uh, in the past, that's really been uh, my spark. Just having those people to guide you and to show you these things and to, to just help your mind uh, evolve a little bit. And that spark, um, that's really, that's my spark. Yeah. You know, other, other people. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. I think that I love that when you were introducing yourself, you said that you were a constant student of you know, theater, because it's so true. You don't stop taking classes. You don't stop learning. You don't stop trying new things with theater and stuff like that. I mean, especially if it's going to be your lifelong journey as we have chosen. You, know? you, you never stop. Right. And, and you always discover new loves. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you remember just your first time hanging out, building a set? Uh, I remember my time, uh, Gulf Coast Community College, amazing school, the, the most amazing teachers, uh, Rosie and Rusty, and they were just having pizza, all, all the, the cast, building our set, making flats. And yeah. that was just that, that, right? That's all. Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, for my, my senior showcase, I had like my professors, I go, and my mentors, phew. <laughs> and they're like, oh no. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you guys <laughs> you taught me everything I know. I mean, without them, I honestly wouldn't have known that I loved sound design so much. You know, like that's like that's something I never thought I would do. I was just like, yeah, I'm going to do theater, it's whatever. And then they showed me the whole technical side, the whole set building side. And that's what I did for four years. I was like, this is an obsession. I love backstage. <laughs> I did love backstage. Um, I did not love being a stage manager because yeah, I found myself annoyed at actors and I did not love <laughs> that about myself, but I did love a lighting. I was a lighting yeah. uh, technician. Um, so that was like one of my first gigs actually, uh, like helping run the board and then spotlighting. Yeah. I, I spotlit um, actually Jerry Herman at the Gus Men Concert Hall and I was the lighting supervisor there. So that, those things, like just having that, that other uh, aspect of theater, um, there's so many things, right, yeah. to, to, to do and to, to spread that love and, you know, directing, playwriting, got to throw that in there. So. Yeah, yeah. I think every part of theater is just so flipping cool. Like, it's just, it's got it, each, each portion has like its own art form in a way which is so strange to think about but it's it's like it's got its own little world its own little universe and when you put them together it's like utopia you know <laughs> and and we all need each other to to make it which is so mm -hmm. beautiful yeah I studied theater at, I studied theater in high school too right mm -hmm. so you know you had chorus or band right and that's it you didn't really have theater when you were a kid uh when I was growing up uh, I was in Georgia 
um, in, in like near Atlanta, but still not in that big city, but we, we didn't have a theater program. Um, I didn't have summer camps to do that. Uh, but then your course or, you know, you did the band or the course. So then I finally got to study theater um, in high school and that was really exciting. And uh, then just to do, to do that and to find my own way into community college. Uh, mm -hmm. So I actually uh, made my own way. I, I sort of had parents that were a little uh, open-minded. So I left uh, my house when I was 16 and I, Actually, yeah, so I moved uh, to Florida and I was in uh, Panama City. So I finished my high school mm -hmm. there and I had to finish early because I wanted to get into theater. I wanted, I had all my core credits. I want to do this. So the counselor was just like, you know, just, you know, we can't do that. Just drop out and, you know, go get your credits, get your GED. I'm like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to stick it with it. I'm my my core credits done. So I actually was able to do a little early entry um, into Gulf Coast Community College. And I worked, like I had to have a job. I had to yeah. get funds. I had to get a FAFSA is what they call it here. Yes. Get those scholarships, yes. get those grants, do everything you can. Um, and so, and then I did uh, two years there and they were just such an amazing experience with uh, Rosie and Rusty. And um, so that was just great learning that. And I love singing. So I, I discovered musical theater. So I tried out and um, I just uh, went to, uh, what was that? In, in uh, Lake City, I think they do it. The uh, Florida Theater Conference, FTC. Oh, yes. Yes. FTC. FTC. Great conference. So I did that and I got into University of Miami. And uh, the Bachelor of Fine Arts uh, degree, I got a BFA in musical theater. Mm -hmm. And that, because I had more credits, I could study uh, theater management, uh, theater production. I did a couple levels playwriting and directing. And the, the conservatory is very strict. We did so many classes, but I did the job in the Gusman concert mm -hmm. uh, hall and it hung lights. And uh, that was just such a great conservatory. Uh, but they did limit you a little bit if you, you know, it was different. I had, mm -hmm. I transferred in, I did six years of college, you know, I had mm -hmm. to take four years there um, mm -hmm. because of their rules. Um, so I got to do a little extra work and I highly recommend not, you know, um, pigeonholing yourself to getting yourself yeah. stuck into one little thing to just take as many classes as you can. Mm -hmm. um, so then I did musical theater and and that was my thing. I mean, I loved it. Uh, so after graduating, you know, what do you, what do you do? You know, so I, I wanted to get into the theater. I sold season subscriptions to uh, the Coconut Grove Playhouse. Oh. So I got a job and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And I, I really loved it, but there was so much pushback on just buying, you know, a ticket, one mm -hmm. little ticket, support theater. It was really not that great, but I, I have there and, and that's, I recommend doing that as well to, to spread yeah. uh, theater to other people. You know, you have to sell the tickets, you have to do the things, you have to build the sets. Um, but then I got my house management job, uh, house manager of the last three shows at the Coconut Grove Playhouse, and they went bankrupt and it was just awful. It was, it was sort of a mismanagement and funds redirected. And I mean, it's just a whole story I could tell you about that. <laughs> Um, so then there was that and and my first improv class I did I forgot to tell you this is improv uh at University of Miami and oh, it cool. was a couple of they did a couple levels and it was just starting then um and the teacher actually left uh you know so to do something else so the program wasn't as strong uh, mm -hmm. at that time but that was my first real improv class and that was uh, 2000, uh, so I graduated in 2005 from the University of Miami. Uh, and so that was a while ago, but the scene wasn't around really. I mean, not that I knew in Miami. So I, you know, worked at the Playhouse, went bankrupt. And from there, I had to pay student loans. So that's where I got to head. I, I did get stuck a little bit. So mm -hmm. I took a job, you know, I bartend, I do what I have to do. But uh, actually my last job was at the Biltmore. Uh, my last yeah. bartending job before quarantine. Uh, but that's always been a side. And I, I, I found improvisational theater super easy to do. 
So I actually have been doing that uh, just to quick shows every month. And that is with a local troupe, Society Circus Players, which you've done yes. shows with. And that was so much fun. Thank you for doing that. It was so much. You were so great. You guys uh, are like, our improv friends. It's like, uh, <laughs> like the sister yeah. clan kind of thing. <laughs> We are. We're, we're tight. So we, we rehearse every week. So I think that's that dedication. You have to show up. You have to, to do the rehearsal and uh, fine tune your craft. So, um, but that was fun. I, I teach. I taught improv classes locally to a lot of local private schools around here. And it was so rewarding. Uh, I just yeah. love doing that. And um, from there, I started, I tried to start during quarantine a musical theater program academy nearby. Um, mm -hmm. It didn't really take off that much. So right now I have just been focusing on uh, have my own company, my own LLC. Um, I started a, a company uh, with Lori Tanner and Alicia Garcia called Femu Scripts. Uh, because, yeah, because manuscripts are overdone and we're looking to um, produce with artists. If, if you're a playwright, that's great. If you have a great idea and it's a great play, that's great. We can we can develop that, but female and female identifying artists, playwrights. Yeah. So we're looking to to really focus in on it. And the sky's the limit when the theater opens. I'm excited about that, but we're so excited to also like this is improv 100% would like to get involved with Femi scripts just because, you know, we're we are a female owned company and to have to find other women in Florida who are willing to, you know, hone in on yes, this is written by women for women. And it's something that, you know, we've always you you kind of have to fight for in the theater sometimes mm -hmm. and and this is just such a beautiful thing that you guys started and we're so happy that it, it exists and we're so excited. <laughs> Actually, Joke and I were talking about it the other day. We were watching TV and it's like midnight and we're like, I'm so excited for Femu scripts, right? And we're like, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, we're joy. Uh, we're excited and we have a lot of projects, uh, festivals. We just did Love Fest uh, mm. late February and that was 13 original plays low I mean pretty much local women and we um we did it and we took on four plays each to direct we were in a few we acted in them and you know we all the funds go to the donations went to actors so that we're very proud of so that's just amazing yeah no it's great it's great it's constant creation which I think is something that a lot of people have been able to do during this time that it's just you know you're able to create 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 but, you know, Femuscripts is giving someone a platform to get it out there. And I think that's really awesome. So that's like, yeah, we're not, we're so excited for all things Femuscripts. <laughs> Why did you guys start the Femuscripts? How did that begin? Yes, uh, there's a story. So quarantine happened and um, Stephanie, our dear friend with Black Improv Alliance, uh, started Quarantine Creators Club. Mm -hmm. So you just had a prompt every day. Um, I think construction junkie was one prompt that I created a monologue about myself just jogging and watching the construction <laughs> and wondering what that person will be in the house. And then, oh, there's another site over here happening. And then, so just a fun, uh, you know, outlet, a needed, much needed outlet during that yeah. time to create because you, know, you got stuck, uh, right? When, when no one knew what was going on that first month in March uh, last year, yeah. um, 2000. Yeah, yeah, we, we, had, we had heard that it was happening and then instantly we're like, well, I guess we have to start that YouTube channel we had been talking about for a year, you know? <laughs> Which I subscribe to, everyone yeah. subscribe to. It's amazing. It's such great content on there. Um, oh, thank so, you. But it's virtual, right? So you have yeah. to find a way virtual. So, but that is right. So find a way to get out of that and just do something. It's not going to be great. I mean, it was a new um, virtual, like what, how do we create what do you do theater? theater <laughs> right? So that started and uh, we just were writing and I was doing play readings and I uh, submitted some stuff. I, I took actually new city, uh, new city players. They, yeah. they have prompts. You can write whatever you want. Uh, a couple minutes to a 10 minute play. Um, they do different submissions. So actually a few of all of us, Alicia, Lori and, and myself, Brooke, we all did that at one point. So we had these plays, they're being read and it was great. And we wanted to further fine tune them. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're more of the play that Alicia's a writer. She's, she's a, 
she's a you know professor she she teaches linguistics and, and writing and all this um, and Lori um, is you're focused into playwriting uh, you know for a long time and I'm sort of new to it but um, I have different things in theater I guess more of that sort of experience but um, I'm very excited to do this I thought I did study with Steven Spoboda can't recommend looking into his play enough that he's been writing uh, uh, so he did my playwriting at the University of Miami and that was such a great experience but you just do it just just write yeah. and, and whatever you feel whatever's true to you and you need to speak um, honestly about and mm -hmm. you can connect with Mm -hmm. um and speak honestly just do that and so we we were wanted to you know expand these plays so you know take it work on it uh, let's do virtual let's just do it ourselves let's yeah. just get online and and so then that happened and we did um reach out to a, another uh daryl patrice she she did mm -hmm. uh regret to inform you a reading uh, we actually staged those so the, the uh, actors were amazing um they were graduating from high school so i can't recommend looking into that um, I'm sure it's on our YouTube page too, somewhere, <laughs> but that, and we just did that. And then we expanded, we had to do virtual. Yeah. So we've been doing rehearsals and it's different, but uh, one day we'll get out to the public. Yes. And start actually doing them live. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's so exciting. And it's so true. You just gotta, you just gotta freaking do it. I mean, like yeah. just, just have that moment of, of pushing yourself into it. And I think what's funny is you said that uh, improv was easy for you in terms of that. And I feel like that's your bartending background mm -hmm. that you, <laughs> cause there, there's times there. I mean, we, we performed at a bar for a little over a year. Oh gosh, two years. And you see how hard bartenders work. You just do. And you see the personalities that come in that they have to deal with. And I think your experience from there going into improv and then that, just do it mentality it's like this whole circle of life connection that's happening of just you know being able to to say okay I have the confidence in myself or at least the people I'm working with to just say yeah no let's just put it out there and I think that's such a beautiful thing it's such a it's such the improv mentality of like let's just you know do it let's just create and we're doing it together you're not alone we're doing it as as a family you know definitely family you need to feel that you need to feel that support and and props to you for um performing in a bar like uh, that's oh. a hard performance <laughs> so you really have to captivate the audience so. yes uh i am i'm loud enough when you are getting ready for performance i love asking people their process so mm -hmm. what's what's like one of your favorite warm-ups whether it be game wise or personal wise like what's your favorite thing to do mm -hmm. to warm up for a performance Okay, so I'm gonna go like technical theater, like just a general. I love, um, I, I do physical things. I love a physical warm up. okay? Mm -hmm. But I also need to breathe. So we used to do in college, uh, if I'm doing a really core cool audition, I love to do tremoring. Have you ever heard these things where you, you kind of like push back and you're laying down, it's almost like yoga, but you extend, you're really breathing in and you're going, uh, and it like expands your vocal cords. And I love tongue twisters. I yeah. really get into a good tongue twister. I'm really um, like an old school uh, theater girl. And so I really that. And um, I, I just, I have to stretch. I have to get in the zone. Sometimes I listen to, um, Billie Holiday. I love, I love some, some old standards, uh, you know, anything Gershwin. Um, yeah. so I just do like something very nice and relaxed. And if I need to get energized for the scene. I'll do like a, a fun little jumpy running around. I'll even mm -hmm. run around the block. I don't care. I'll do whatever it takes to get into character. Um, and improv. Um, I, I think I love, um, I love uh, cat eight, one through 10 and eight through J. I love to finally do that and to go into uh, see everyone counts together. And um, that's kind of just a fun, I love group warm ups too. If we're doing yeah, those are setting. Those are fun ones. Yeah, I like yeah. to, I, I'm similar in terms of the physical and the music. I don't do a lot of, of uh, musical theater, um, mm -hmm. but when it comes to, like right before a performance, I'll just walk around and then I make a playlist for my characters. So I so I go through the playlist and then uh, people are like, what are you listening to? And I'm like, my character, leave me alone. <laughs> I need to get it. 
And when you're in a play, I love to go, I am, I will go over those lines anytime, any day. I will speed through those lines doing uh, just each line. I get a little, that helps me to, to know. Speed throughs are great. <laughs> great for it. But the music, I, I, I'll speed through and then relax. Like I need to get a little bit of that if it's yeah, a scripted probably. play. Yeah, definitely. That's so fun. Yeah, those are great warm ups to do. And okay, this one's going to be a little bit hard because it's, it was hard for me to answer. What's one of your favorite one or two? I'll give you that one or two of your favorite games for improvisation. Oh, my favorite games. Mm. So I like it. If, so I knew this is like the rudimentary of full reverse, um, mm -hmm. but then it just turned into like a universal remote. So universal remote is my favorite thing. So I don't know if everybody knows that you come in and, and you can forward reverse a scene, you can pause it, can, uh, you know, you can do it in different languages. You can do it with different characters. You can, you know, that's just super fun. I love and, that one. Um, yeah, that's, so I, I love short. I do love a short form uh, game, but then, we're doing a really fun uh, long form arts uh, free ring circus, um, mm -hmm. which we develop all these forms with society circus players. And I helped develop it. So it's um, basically a, a long form, uh, a scene um, with two with a, a beginning and an end. Mm -hmm. And there's some correlation and growth between those two scenes, but uh, different characters go in and they, they will tag out and there's any sort of form that you want to use mm -hmm. um, but at some point we inject short form games like new choice uh for diverse uh things like that so um that's awesome that's game. really fun yeah, yeah. combining um, the what's two your games. what's one of your favorites oh <laughs> buckets and pockets because i don't know what someone's written for me and I love that that surprise. And then it's not only us that is excited about it, the, the audience is in on it. So they're like, oh my God, when's my, when are they going to pull out my card? Are they going to pull out my card? Who knows? You know? I, I love that one. I love that one. And there's always that group scene where everybody's, all right, everybody get up here. I just, I just love fun. that. I love how the audience gets so excited. They're like, oh my gosh, we're playing two now. Okay, cool. We're in on it. We're in on it. <laughs> You'll hear, you'll hear people scream <laughs> or like that one guy in the back who laughs the loudest and he's like that remember that one that was <laughs> I love it so much uh and I wanted to also ask if I saw you walking down the street and I had no idea who you were I was like wow mm. wow look at that person over there what can't I tell just by looking at you just based off first impressions? Right. I, I took a, I, I can still walk and I am, I'm an actor combat, formerly, formerly certified actor combatant. So that I can so yield cool. a rapier and dagger with the best of them and, and the quarter staffs and, um, you know, unarmed combat, but the, the, the still walking workshop was really fun. So I don't think you could tell, like just- No, I could oh I'm a Gemini. Gosh, so fun. And you're a Gemini. You <laughs> could tell that obviously by looking at me, but- yeah, Oh um, God, that is so yeah. fun. I have always wanted to learn stage combat. Yeah. And doesn't it- I'll it take just, it with you. It, oh, yes. <gasps> okay, good. It just, I, I feel like it would help physicality wise so much. And then I feel like I could do more when I'm performing, like, I just feel like I'd be more capable. That's course, so cool. a lot of that. A lot of that's coming back into, I guess, uh, coming back into style, the, the, the combat, I see a lot of that on um, TV and, and new yeah. films. So, Hey, let's do it. And I just want to say, I am a mother. So I'd like yeah. to say um, that uh, I'd like to say hello to my daughter. I love you. Um, she's a small child, but uh that is another thing about me that is a big part of my life. And I want to pass on my love of theater to her. I want to pass this live theater on to people and keep playhouses open like the Coconut Grove Playhouse. I want to properly uh, reconstruct uh, that structure, have real theaters. The Olympia Theater is uh, another local theater that, you know, we have to figure out what to do. We can't just have big, huge 
centers. Uh, we want to mm-hmm. have local, you know, we want to have a bit of that. Um, yeah. So I want to have that for our future generations. And now's the time to really, really yeah. step up and, and, and spread the love to our youth. Mm-hmm. That's why I love to teach. And um, so that's, and create. I would like to tell everyone just create no matter what. Um, you, you never feel like you can't. Um, just whatever. Just do something. This much. Just a five minute uh, inspirational something that you write down. You can always create from that. So. Definitely. Yeah, those five, those five minutes a day. It's like, a, it's like how they say you should always take a deep breath a day kind of thing. Just take those like five minutes to just create. That's a hundred percent true. Make your own opportunities. That was something that I never knew. Um, you know, just create and don't don't be scared of you know. Always um, keep giving back. Now we are coming sadly towards the end of the interview. Um, is there anything you are currently working on, or anything you would like to mention? Ways that people can keep up with your journey. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. Uh, I have been working on with Femme scripts. We are working on a play crawl, different forms of theaters and different little plays. So we are, um, you know, writing. And so look us up, Femme scripts, F-E-M-U-S-C-R-I-P-T-S, Femme scripts. I am um, on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And I'll send you that at Brooklyn 305, um, spelled like Brooklyn, but with an E, 305, and uh, www.brooklynwhite.com. There's my name there. <laughs> I don't know. I'll put it in the uh, in the comments. But yeah, definitely, uh, I'll be posting all of that. I'm writing some music uh, right now, a few songs um, that uh, that I felt inspired to write, uh, which is hard. I'm writing, um, you know, music and lyrics and the music, so composing and doing it from my piano. So I'll have that soon. It's, it's a, pro- it's in progress. It's a long progress. So, um, so I'd love to post that and society circus players always doing something with them. Um, we're looking forward for in the summer, uh, we're all vaccinated properly and safely. We're going to be meeting up. So that's exciting. And, um, can't wait to meet with you all. I know. Um, <laughs> So, and, and I do like a dinner detective shows right now, which are fun. I hope no one is going to know that I'm in there uh, sometimes I'm in, the, in the audience, but um, that's Ugh. been something that I've been doing uh, just to get out there and do something. Everything some and- that Brooke mentions will be linked down below so that you guys can find all of the beauty down there. <laughs> Oh, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. This is an amazing interview. If you guys would like to, again, keep up with Brooke's journey, make sure to check out the links down below. If you feel like there is a organization we should add to our list, please make sure to email us at info at thisisimprov.com. We love supporting local businesses. If you would like to take an improv class for writing improv, improv for life, or corporate team building, go to www.thisisimprov.com and sign up today. If you love histories, mysteries, and ghost stories, please go visit our Spotify podcast. This is Legends of Yesterday, where we talk about all of that and more. If you have a story of your own, please don't be afraid to email us at one of the emails down below. You will be hearing one of Brooke's stories very soon. (laughs) Yes, so exciting. Thank you, you beautiful creatures. I really appreciate you guys keeping up with this YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with our journey. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Taco Tuesday. Eat a bunch of tacos. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye. Talk about a Tuesday. Talk about a Tuesday.